Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy. Today, a fast follow-up video on the Bull Armory Cherokee Compact. I just posted a uh, unboxing video online recently uh, because as of August 2023, these guns are pretty much being given away online for less than 300 bucks. So I was curious, are they good guns or not? Um, so again, I'll put a link to the unboxing video in the description below, but today I actually went to the range to put 200 rounds through this Bull Armory Cherokee Compact, uh, just to see if it was worth the money. Is it reliable? Does it shoot accurately? What are my thoughts? And so I will actually roll some range video in at the end of this video, at the end of this clip, uh, but my range videos aren't great like the other big YouTubers. It's my iPhone setting against the wall, uh, but I'll tell you kind of what you're going to see and what my experiences were. But I shot 200 rounds uh, with Igman 124 grain uh, full metal jacket. So just target ammo. I've shot thousands of rounds of this before, zero problems. So this gun for the first 150, 160 rounds, I am singing its praises. It is accurate out of the box. First couple uh, shots right on target. I started shooting faster and got all over the place, but it shot fantastic. Very smooth, very low recoil. Loved it. I was singing his praises, so happy. The trigger, phenomenal. Uh, I'll show you the gun is clear. The gun is clear. But I shot in single action only because there's a safety. But um, the, the trigger is really excellent. Short reset, tiny bit of take up, and there you go. So again, short reset. Right there, tiny bit of take up. Super smooth. Love this trigger. I love the size of the gun. It's a great carry size with 17 round capacity. These finger grooves fit my hand great. Loved it. Again, I made uh, my original video talked about how much I love this gun. Highly recommended it. And then between 150, 160 rounds, somewhere on the pathway to 200, I had two stove pipes. Again, I don't know. I, it could be the ammo. I've shot thousands of rounds through H&Ks, Berettas and SIGs and IWI, other things. It's always fired fine. But today with this guy, I had two stove pipes and I'll put, you'll see those at the end of the video. Um, could be the ammo. It could be a brand new gun. My SIG P320 had more uh, misfires than that uh, early on until I got it, you know, it's about 500 rounds to it and it's been flawless since then. So it could be new and stiff, could be bad ammo. Don't know. I'll keep shooting it. I do love the gun. I think it's probably fine. It probably needs to be broken in more. So uh, I would love to hear from you guys though. Have you ever had issues with Bull Armory? Uh, your reputation is really good. Most of the guns I've had from Israel have been really good. So again, 99% of the time it fired accurately, 98 out of 200. So it always, always, pretty much always went bang. I'd like to have 100%, uh, but in general, I loved it. I wish I didn't have those two stove pipes right in a row within five rounds of each other. So um, don't know. Uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you have a similar experience for less than 300 bucks, I think it's a heck of a gun and I am going to keep shooting it. I'll definitely, you know, have it around as a truck gun or keep it in one of the cars or just keep it stashed in place because it is a fantastic value. It looks like to me. So here I'll roll in the video of me at the range. Again, my range videos are nothing special. It's my phone against the wall. Sorry, not high tech, uh, but you'll see uh, five targets. The top two targets will be playing around with some subcompacts for another video. Forget those. The center hole, the center target rather, it was my first probably 100 rounds. And I'm pretty much, I'm kind of all over the place. I was shooting fast. It was just getting the feel of the gun. But the next uh, two things you'll see is n the number one and the number two. I was able to put 17 rounds to both of them in pretty tight groupings. Occasional flyer because I'm not a great shot. So again, don't judge my shooting, sorry. But then at the end of that, you'll see the two stovepipes I mentioned. So as always, thank you guys for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy. Um, this gun, while it's available for less than 300 bucks, I probably would still pick it up. Would love to hear from you guys. Have you had experience with this gun? People who are researching it would love to hear from you as well. So again, love to hear your thoughts on the Bull Armory Cherokee. This has to be the uh, compact version. Uh, as always, thanks for watching the Arkansas Gun Guy. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, first shots, the Bull Armory Cherokee. Uh, you know, dry firing at home, it had kind of a rough feel to it on the slide. It shoots really smooth and is super accurate, really low recoil. So I just took to the range. I don't mock my shooting, I'm not great. As I was getting zeroed in about uh, uh, large, this is about 50 rounds right here. Uh, I had a couple flyers, that's all me. And then I pulled it back to five yards and put 17 rounds here. Again, one flyer and 17 rounds here. So again, 
not the world's best shooter, but if you're curious about this gun and you can pick it up for a sweet price, I would get one. It's a fantastic shooter with that recoil. All right, first at the range of the Bull Armory Cherokee um, and the compact. I've gone through almost 200 rounds and it's been perfect. Highly recommend flawless shooting, super smooth, really accurate. But in the last three rounds, I've gone First 150, 160 rounds, great. Uh, I'm getting close to 200 rounds now, and I had a couple of those guys. So more to come.